one. Hello, and welcome to another Friday edition of Full Beam. It is episode... 35. And today... We're in different suits. We are in the same car. Apologies. The next one of these has got to be in my car. I'll do the apologies. Well, people are getting sick of the drab Ford interior and everything else. They want a bit of class. Uh, okay. We have, we have a classy audience. Um, so, in this episode... I'm going to we're continue. We're going to do something that we didn't do last week. Continue my four by four rant is what we're going to do. Yeah, we didn't do something last week. What did we do last week, Al? Hello, I'm Al, and I'm Sai. And we're full beam. Yeah, like, we're, we're going to talk about the Tesla truck. Oh. We're going to talk about the Audi SUV, which proves size point. And we're going to talk about the icing cars. That's yeah. thing that sounds. That sounds <laughs> thrilling. I no, I, I, yeah, that, just stay and be a thrill, people. Go on. Stay and be enthralled. I can't say enthralled. Stay and be engaged, people. Amazed. 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 Yeah. So go on then. Four by fours or Tesla truck first? Tesla truck first. Can I swear? No. Oh. Go on then. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are... You, I think you have to see it in the flesh. My because thoughts look, are... looking at it, it just looks a mess to me. My thoughts are... He's got absolutely off his barnet on drugs... <laughs> Watching an old sci-fi movie, say Blade Runner, or allegedly, it's just what he thinks he that might, what he thinks he looks like, not what he's done. Would that I'd say, yeah, absolutely. Right, okay. You're not saying he's done that. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying that Elon Musk is a class A drug user at all. Um, but it looks he hasn't designed the truck, has he? Someone in Tesla has got off their barnet and watched an old sci-fi movie and drawn a truck. And they've drawn a truck. It's absolutely huge. Its dimensions are so big, so stupid, that rumour has it that it doesn't actually um, abide by our uh, rules and regulations. Right. So you could order one. You can have one delivered. But allegedly, you will not be able to drive it in Britain. And there's also rumours going around that it will not be made and that's why they are only taking such a small deposit. Do you know how much the deposit is? I do, makes you tell me. It's a hundred quid. It's a hundred quid deposit to put your name down for a Tesla truck. If you want to put your name down on any other model of Tesla, it's upwards of a thousand pound, a thousand pound minimum. And people are saying that you only have to put a hundred pound down because such small monetary amounts are easier to return when it doesn't come off. That makes sense. So, um, I can go on, I'll, I can go on. First of all, the truck itself, when I first saw it, I mean, I'm not seeing it obviously in real life, I've only seen it on the internet and what have you, but it just didn't look like a truck, obviously, right? And then I, I, been, I remember thinking, where's the pickup bit? Where yeah, do you which put end, the stuff which? In? Looks like a pull me pull, yeah. Right, so when you see this since it's got the bike on, I'm thinking, oh, okay, that's where it goes, but you can only get a bike on it. It's not much of a pickup truck, is it? And then I'm thinking, so does that, right? And then I'm thinking... Why did I pick up truck that does 0 to 60? Exactly! 2.9 2 seconds! Anyway. seconds. Why Puff, you, why there it goes your back? bike. Yeah, your bike's off the back, isn't it? There it goes your shopping. And I just with the whole Elon Musk thing, I'm getting, a bit, I'm getting really bored of him now. Because he's just, he reminds me of Richard Branson in the way that his products were never about the company, they were all about him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like Richard Branson used to, like when Virgin Airlines oh, started, he oh, got dressed up in, yeah, as, the, yeah. as the airline steward, that's not a steward. He got we did a virgin wedding, he got to top as a bride. He yeah. made it all about him. Yeah. And Elon Musk is just an attention seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at other other luxury electric cars, such as Rimac, Matt Rimac, I, you probably don't even know what he looks like. No. I do because I've seen them in a magazine, but very unassuming, they just get on with it. Yeah. They just make cars. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Maintain class. Yes. There's not much class there, it says no. at the moment, but it's a shame because... Well, it's the whole model, it's the whole model range, isn't it? The Model S, the Model X, and he's put the Model 3 in the middle to look like sex. Oh, he hasn't, has he? Yeah, but he didn't do the Model, he didn't do the Model E, he, he, he well, made it a 3, and the 3 sits in between the S and the X. That just proves my point. Yeah, no class there whatsoever. No. Um, but yeah, 
0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. That is just absolutely ridiculous. It, it's bigger, wider, taller, whatever than a bus. It doesn't meet any regulations. They're only taking a hundred quid deposit, which means it's going to get returned to you when it doesn't come off. In other words, nothing about it is right. No, nothing about it's right. And also, people are losing their minds over the looks of it and everything else. But People have got to surely understand that it's not going to look like that when it goes into production. I mean, I, I, I've had more respect for the thing if you made a pickup truck. I've had more respect. If you want to do something, just kind of make, we had a podcast the other week and I said, do you think we've seen the last of car design? You went, no. One thing about this is it proved we haven't seen the last of car design because this is generally weird looking. Yeah. So I, I appreciate it for that. But I've had more interest about it it would have been like you know his new his new five seater everyday runabout car which is shaped like a pyramid <laughs> I'd, I'd have been more interested then if it, it's just a pickup truck that's not going to work yeah and it's it's like I said you, you go on social media you go on Twitter I've pre-ordered me, me Tesla truck this that and the other People are losing their minds for how it looks now, but it's not going to look anything like that when it goes into production. If he wants to sell that worldwide, it's got to change dramatically. Like, I've seen it front on, and there's a massive strip of lights, really high, bright lights on the top of the wind, windscreen. That's not approved in any country's regulations. It, it's like, an, you know, so you're driving towards that truck. You are not only being blared and dazzled by the headlights here there's a massive strip at the top of it mm. won't work won't happen mm. so if that goes into mass production that strip of lights going straight away yeah. it's going to be smaller it's going to be shorter it's going to be it's going to be narrower you know and people are just throwing money at it willy, willy nilly and it's just like it's not going to come off it's just on the grip though and if it gives somebody down the pub or in a club who's had to tap off with a girl going i've all that with that truck you know it's just all to do that. It's just status and image. It's just crap. Yeah, but then when he wants a hundred grand for it, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Go to the next fellow in the waiting queue. Yeah, that's that's all it is. I think maybe. Uh, so I right, so that's that done. Tesla truck verdict. <laughs> that's be verdict. You face I laughed at it. <laughs> my my verdict is. Meh. Don't just just. It's not meh. I mean, you, you must you must get a reaction from it. It is, but you told me that I can't it's, swear. It's ridiculous. There's other words than swear words, you know. So you know, <laughs> I'm the educated one. There's a massive vocabulary you can use. What did you say? Maths. Massive vocabulary. Oh, sorry. That you know, but you can't say. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Al. Right, let's move right. on. We need to say hello to two of our work colleagues who's been in touch with us, and they're, they're following us now, watching us on YouTube. So hello to Darren. And hello to Ross Rev. Revs. Ross Revs. Hello, Ross. Yeah. Hello, Dan. Thanks for watching us. We hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Just carry on. And thanks Just for subscribing like and, and liking and commenting. And don't forget, we're on the we're on the radio as well, but we're not. We're the, we're the, the podcast is on on the wireless. It's not a wireless. Oh my god. I'm over fifty. I'm sorry. We do a podcast as well, so wherever you see on YouTube, you can hear as well. Just go to just follow our links. You'll, you'll see. It. Okay. <laughs> and if you can get to our that was smooth, podcast. Wasn't it? From those directions, you're a better man than I am. Yeah, there's only got it's left somewhere. Move on. Move on. What was next? Um, Audi. We'll, we'll see the best to last day. <laughs> right. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the, last week we were talking about SUVs, and Simon's point was, why would you have an SUV that's as fast as a sports car? Just buy a sports car. And lo and behold, Audi have proved his points. Come on, mate. They have the RSQ8 which is yet to be released, but will be soon. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's not a prototype. It's gonna come into production. That is going to be Audi's fastest and most powerful car in their entire range. Faster than an R8. Get on that. Faster than an R8 V10 Plus. That's... So basically, their racing car is going to be outgunned 0 to 62, outgunned in the horsepower and outgunned in the torque stakes by uh, an, an SUV, SUV that's the size of a country. It's stupid. Go figure. <laughs> Just proves your point. It does. Thank Just, you. That's, I, can't, I have nothing to add to that, apart from what the hell are you playing at? Yeah. I think in 20 years' time, we're going to look back on this year and just, just think, what were we doing? Yeah, because the R8 is a gorgeous car. So, oh, yeah, don't get me started. It just totally and utterly burns me head out. Yeah, that's a scouse face for saying I don't understand it. <laughs> um, let's see, what have we got now? The I, 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 I
Wow. This is impressive. Quick, I know. Really quick. quick. Any funny stories from motoring this week, Al? Any, any interesting? No, my servants. Uh, I haven't seen anything decent about it last year. No. Any more crazy regs? Oh, God, yeah. So, um, it was a BMW X something. X3. And it was three numbers and two letters. You saw a Range Rover with 13G as its reg. I don't even meant to say that. Why not? That's why I said three letters and two numbers. But it's out there. It's in the public domain. It is now. But it is anyway. What did you not drive it? Oh, it's... Oh, it's, yeah, I saw the Range Rover, it was 13 g I said to him, I bet that cost more than 13 g to buy. Bet it did. And I saw a Volkswagen Golf with 32WC. Got to be quite, it's got to be a couple of grand now. It's getting me on the joke this now, it's, it's these personalised number plates, it's like double barreled names, everyone's got one now. Yeah. It means nothing anymore. No. It's, just, it's just taking away the class. Yeah. You know, we see Lambos and Ferraris and everything else, don't we? And they've just got their 18, 19 plates on them. And they look all the better for they it. They do, absolutely, they look mate. All the yeah. better for it. That's that done, Liz. Okay. So, what, you've not seen anything on your travels this week? You haven't knocked anybody down, anything like that, no? <laughs> well, if I did, I wouldn't feel them because I'm in an SUV and I feel important. True. Well, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't even hear the bounce, would you? You wouldn't hear the bump? Nope. No. No. Uh, I'm just trying so to maybe you off. Maybe I have. There's been an accident at Formby Coast Road then. I'm your guy. I'm your guy, okay. <laughs> um, No, mate, I, don't, I think it's been pretty quiet, actually, road-wise and road-user-wise. I stop using my nose on camera, don't I? You do, mate, yeah, you white. really do. I'm not even up to it. No, shut up. I know, I'm sorry. Shut up, shut man. Up, know, God. Oh, people people don't want to see... Into it. Your nose is like a hole. It's like a sinkhole. We're not getting to personal insults now. <laughs> right. De-icing. Oh, this is very good. <laughs> There's two type of de-icers. Go on. The prepared kind and me. Go on. And I am just not prepared for frost <laughs> or ice or snow. Go on. <laughs> I'm baffled by these people that watch the weather and go out and prep for the next morning. Who puts a sheet or a or a or a, a screen protector over their windscreen? I think that's just being clever. Well, again, that's just, yes, absolutely, and I wish that was me. I left the house this morning totally unaware that it was cold or frosty or icy, right? And the car was frozen solid, and I mean, I couldn't get in. Yeah. It was, was frozen. Just the same, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, my God. So then, obviously, you have that horrible, frantic rummage around the car, glove box, no centre console, no praying that you've got something that you can scratch the ice off right. door wells everywhere and there is nothing right yeah. my national insurance card looks like an old time treasure map there's chunks missing you can't read the numbers it's cracked because that's just me go to scratcher i haven't got one of those and you you know and i'm freezing and all all the ice has come back into my fingers it's a massive windscreen anyway it's a big car i get get in the car and i'm, I'm dithering I just think, why can't I be one of them people that goes, you know what, I'll have me tea, I'll watch Granada report, oh, it's going to be frosty tomorrow, I will make. I didn't even have to put a screen or a protector on my windscreen, just get a, why, why am I not, I am so angry with myself that I'm not prepared for cold I weather. I used to be one of those people. Why have I not even got a can of de-icer or a spray or a scraper? See, that's, that's weird, I, I've got a can of de-icer in the back of my car and I know it's always there. No. See? You are happens. even more prepared than I am. I used to be one of those people who put a thing across the windscreen. But I don't say anymore because I don't have to because it's got a heated windscreen. But I've got a heated windscreen, but it doesn't do anything. Well, it does. It, 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 um, I I mean, it, it doesn't. Does so it? Are you saying your BMW heated windscreen is worse than my Ford one? Well, that works great. Mate, it's hardly a windscreen. It's like it's like, it's like like a kid's Wendy house window. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, it's like a porthole out of a ferry. It takes the wind off me, hence it's a windscreen. I could go <gasps> and de-ice that. No, you couldn't. I could. <laughs> no, you really couldn't. I could. You just be silly now. <laughs> the, but that, the point is, in the old cars, we never had that. So I, I did just have a big blue plastic sheet and I'd, I'd, 
And it was a proper thing you could buy years ago. And Did like, you have to put your window down? And... Yeah, and I had like little suckers on the end. You stuck to your, stuck to your window so it was tight. I am screen. jealous of people who are prepared for cold it was, weather. It was so nice the next morning. Just getting it going, oh, it's been frosty. Yeah. What the frost? Isn't that awful? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and your windscreen was exactly. It was great. So what kind of the ice are you? Are you in my camp? Are you a, oh my God, it's icy. I'm going to be late for work. Grab whatever I can. Fingers, bank cards, whatever. Or are you a semi-prepared as in Al? <laughs> Where he's got a can of the icer in his boot and he knows it's always there. Or are you a fully prepared top class driver that has your windscreen protector, you've got a scraper in your glove box, a blanket, a spade, snow it's chains, a, a husky in your boot. It's a generational thing. You're an, you're an entitled millennial who's never known our times. I'm I'm an old boomer who Okay who, boomer. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> who we've we've known it tough. We 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 know oh, all the heated stuff. Did you have did to we? like come out in your bare feet? Did you have to, you know, wear Al Panzer shoes? <laughs> <laughs> It is our bum bum bum. Yeah, I never had to actually so we have to wear tea cozy. <laughs> <laughs> oh well that's got me. <laughs> Boss. I just walk because it's, it's come off the teapot, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We have we have digressed massively. Yeah, a bit, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I mean that's it. It's just the cars are so well equipped now, you don't need to be prepared. Yeah. But and then it, it would save you time if you were, though, yeah, still. Yeah, exactly, because in my head then, I'm annoyed. I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss my train now. I, d- I didn't want to be 15 minutes. It's only 50. I'm only going to be late by another 50 minutes because the trains are that regular. But I just get so frustrated with myself. So angry, Simon, why haven't you prepped for this? Why, why haven't you know where your scraper is? That's all, that's all I want. difficult. Why don't you just get a, a piece of plastic and just have it in your car and the boots? Well, does, uh, we must have an army of ice scrapers in our house all dotted around and different cars, whatever. And I just, I should, I should just be able to go bump and go into my glove box and get me spray proud. I bought one two years ago and it's lovely. It's like this big penguin stuffed toy, like a penguin teddy bear, but it's a penguin. And the the, the scraper thing is, is at the top of his head. You have to put, you have to put your hand up it. <laughs> <laughs> it's boss. It's a bit oh. rude, but oh my you got, you got your hand up this penguin. Scraper. It looks a bit weird when you do it as well. You need to get rid of that. You need, you need to. I'll bring in a show next time next week. Please don't. Oh well. Please don't. I don't want a demonstration of you. Can I say? Can I can't say. Can I? <laughs> no, you can't. I know what you're thinking. You can't say that. Oh, uh, right. right. Is that it? <laughs> so we end there. I've enjoyed this one. So well, then it's been a good laugh, hasn't it? Awesome. Okay. I hope you guys have laughed along with us. You don't just think, oh my god, these two are a pair of idiots, and we're not going to unsubscribe. Darren's only been subscribed for like three days. He'll be chipping us off. I know. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Bing. Uh, right, so next week we might have more winter shenanigans. Hopefully. Yeah. Let's do it. You might just skid it. You want a 4x4, aren't you? Mm. You won't skid. No. Well, the car won't skid, but I might if... if... I just won't go, this doesn't go fast enough to skid. Does it, it doesn't make no. 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 So. Uh, right. Maybe I could, I don't know, tow you behind the car like some snowboard, like some... Well, like a jet ski. This is just this <laughs> my fiesta going like that. <laughs> no, you, not your car. Oh, that's right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Walk. Maybe we could do some proper winter activities like the Winter Olympics. Alan, Alan Cy Winter Olympics. Imagine me ski jumping. About to be fired out of a cannon. You, you, you would never hear a scream like it in your life. <laughs> All right. So, social media, Al. Oh, God, yeah. Social media. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Look at this big patch of my face here. Look like a cop. Anyway. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I don't like that at all. Don't like that. Damn you, son. <laughs> it's because your head's so big. I know. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Full Beam Cars. Yes. YouTube, Full Beam Channel. Search it. Search it, like it, subscribe, comment, follow us on Twitter, interact with us, get engaged. To us. To us. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Depends. Depends. And that's it. It is. It is. <laughs> so until next week. I love these Friday ones. I do. Yeah, I think we're just dead jovial and relaxed. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy them as well, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.